the markets had a positive day, and it was kind of uh, indicative of, I was saying that's probably not the right word, support, showing support right here at this support level on the Dow, and telling us that we're still kind of in this wedge formation. You can see the tops, you can see the bottoms. We're moving sideways. The NASDAQ was even more compelling, showing support at this level and at the 50-day moving average, doing a left-right combo today, a very powerful reversal signal, a doji followed by a bullish engulfing signal. Makes this very easy to analyze what the trend will do. If they open positive tomorrow, telling you that the T-line is not going to be acting as resistance and the 20 is not acting as resistance, we'll still be in a uh, uh, at least a sideways mode, but showing that the market's not selling off. However, we have to be careful because this market has been in a nature where there's up days and down days in any trend. And because of oil uh, gaining strength, our recommendations of buying some of these at uh, Whiting, uh, for example, WLL, was recommended because when it gapped down, it was based upon a new stock offering after it was in an uptrend, which means they'd usually continue the uptrend. So buying down in here told us that our next uh, 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 next target was the 50-day moving average. Now we're watching to see if it can go higher. A major advantage of candlestick charts is that you can see what type of patterns are developing. This is what we call the bobble. Notice how crude oil bounced back up after a very long extended downtrend, hit the 50, pulled back, and really couldn't close below the T-line, started a J-hook pattern, and today on positive trading it came up through the 50, telling us that this little downtrending channel has been breached. Now we're looking for the 55 area, which would be this trend channel. So as long as we know that crude oil price is moving higher, investor sentiment for the uh, crude oil stocks are going to trade higher. And our recommendation on LPI has been based upon this fry pan bottom that did a very strong left-right combo off the 50 and now has broken out, making our next target the 200-day moving average. Once again, candlestick signals and patterns allow investors to be in the right place at the right time, and not only in a good uptrend, but in chart, our chart patterns are going to produce very strong uptrends. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.